If you ask Joseph, if let's say he's talking to his daughter about it, when he talked to the daughter about it, his mind going somewhere else already. <laughs> Alright guys, at what age did y'all start thinking about sex? Good question, huh? I think Joseph started probably P2, P3. <laughs> <laughs> okay, okay, but at P3, P4, I was exposed to like porn. Uh. Yeah, mm. but even then, I also haven't think about like, you know, I want to have sex with a girl yet. But it's just like, you know, cool to like, you know, you and your friends talk about it. Mm-hmm. Yeah, for me, I think it would be sex one. No? Sex uh, one? When I started like, helping uh. I think natural, right? Because puberty, uh, then the hormones starts to change, then you have that kind of urge. Mm. Yeah, yeah. It's natural to even start earlier than that. For guys, uh, is it? Yeah, because like what she said, uh, you know, once you reach the age of puberty, uh, these are all things that come oh, with yeah. the hormonal changes. Uh. <laughs> mm. I think it's about P6, uh, P6, 8, 1. Yeah, P6, 8, 1. Yeah. You sure not younger? No, la, ah. no, 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 no. <laughs> I think I was also around there, like SEC 1 or so. But I would consider myself like a late bloomer, la, mm. I think. Because a lot of my friends, they were very into this kind of stuff, right? I didn't have time for that. La. Mm-hmm. He's too mm-hmm. cool for that. <laughs> <laughs> Had my mind on other things. Oh. Then how about you, eh, Doreen? <laughs> <laughs> um, I think late secondary. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I, I don't Actually, really I'm always very curious yeah. about like What's the girl's perspective of all this Because you know guys is very co- common Like it's like 1p6 or p5 But like girls eh? I think girls are They are le- uh, more quiet about these kind of things Like mm-hmm. we don't go out there and talk about Hey, you know like dig up vagina They kind of mm-hmm. don't mm-hmm. So like I Guys think... also don't talk about dig up vagina We don't talk about that also <laughs> Actually <laughs> <laughs> and right, they talk about that, that, No, no, I see. Like, you see their faces. Like, why are you talking about dicks? <laughs> <laughs> so you know we are quite open to talk about this, right? I mean, like when we are older. Mm-hmm. But for like Asian families, right? They are more conservative. You yes. know, they yeah. they mm-hmm. they very scared to open their mouth to mm-hmm. to talk to their kids even. Mm-hmm. So in the future, right? When you all have kids, right? How would y'all go about? You know. I think I I would be more open about it, lah. Mm. Because like what you mentioned, Asian families, they tend to be a bit more traditional and stuff, right? Mm. Mm. I think that is to their detriment. Because if, let's say, you don't address the issue, the kids don't have this knowledge, they might get the knowledge from somewhere else, which is maybe not the healthy way. Mm. Uh, and in seeking that knowledge, right, they might develop certain urges uh, mm. that may not be very good also. Mm. And then now you cannot put that topic on the table and talk also. Like, let's just say you're like, you went to explore, something went wrong, or you're curious about certain things. Mm. You cannot really consult the parents. Yeah, mm. like what you say, though, like no, you but when, info somewhere else. Okay, sorry, uh, when you share with them, right, like you're, when you share with your kids about sex, right, is it the scientific terms or... Yeah. You know... You don't want to dumb it down too much, mm. but you don't want to be too scientific <laughs> to the point where it doesn't even make any sense to them. Yeah, it's yeah, mm. just science at that point. <laughs> And how old you think it's comfortable for your kid to ask you about this? Oh, that's a good question. Because you know, uh, they started <sighs> about, I think like P5, they start to learn this kind of point. Sex ed. Yeah, correct. Then they start to get very interested. P5. Perhaps that is the mm. time or Perhaps that is the time. Mm-hmm. But would it be too young? Would you think it's too young? Because they are already at school in school, my sex ed. So I feel that since the topic is brought up in school, let's bring it home and, and talk about it. Because uh. at, at that point, they still, they still are a plain canvas ma, about this sexual topic. Mm. I feel that you need to paint certain good stuff mm. on it and lay certain so, things. So how, how would you lay the good uh, wait, yeah. wait, wait, wait. Better like a Jackson Pollock. <laughs> <laughs> that sound? Wait, wait, wait. I want to ask you. When you share with your kids right, about sex, right, is it under the assumption that the kid is a male? Oh, uh, no. I was assuming that. Actually. Yeah, 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 yeah. So if it's a female and he's us that, mm, that's interesting. <laughs> what is sex? <laughs> I think it's I, a, I, I, I feel. Can I, I feel you say, I, I feel it will be more important to pitch the, the female. I I think the to, other to way be prota- to, to be protective and for the guys to what's the etiquette and like what 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 is the right thing to do. Hmm. I feel it's more important to discuss with a boy about this. Because yeah, girls tend to kind of keep a their urges shy, in check. Yeah. But guys, maybe they can go wild about certain things. Yeah. Uh. Mm-hmm. I feel it's uh, like for the girl, how to protect herself. For the guy is what not to do. Uh, what, don't, don't be a, a digger. 
then just so. Then do you think father should talk to the daughter about this situation or mother to a, a, a uncle? I mean, if your mother can talk, it will be easier lah. Some, yeah, yeah. some things, lady to lady, easier. Mm-hmm. So, mm-hmm. guy to guy, girl to girl lah, in this situation. Yeah lah, I mean, you ask Joseph, if let's say he's talking to his daughter about it, when he talk to the daughter about it, his mind going somewhere else already. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so why I brought this topic up, right? It's because recently there was this celebrity, mm-hmm. her name is uh, Jaceline Day. So okay. she's a media. Uh, she used to act in uh, media corp lah. Mm-hmm. So recently, her son, a uh, ten year old boy, started asking her, "Does it really feel good when penis go into the pe- uh, vagina?" The son asked her this. Yes, the son oh, okay. asked the mother. Oh, okay, why would the, so he brought the topic up? Correct. Oh, okay. Yeah, he brought it. Okay, let me uh, let me show you guys the. But that's actually a very healthy sign, eh? Now that I think about it, because probably he's he's learning this in school, right? Mm. And if he can ask the it's mom about this, uh, it means the relationship is pretty And healthy. their communication is rather healthy, right? Mm. Yeah. Okay, so let me show you guys. But it's so weird, right? <laughs> like, like, for the mom to say yes. Then the mom is like, Goo! That's not good! That would be weird. <laughs> That's the answer. Papa wants solid! Okay, so this is her response. Hmm. Ah, don't be perverted. <laughs> oh, that's okay, interesting. So, wow, your soul is yeah, that's right. I really like that. Oh, wow. hmm. I think quite decent. What do you think about her response? Uh, I think it's not bad. Eh? As she's answering the son's question, mm-hmm. she she was also saying certain rules mm-hmm. and what what is right what is wrong for, for mm-hmm. him to do I mean I guess for her stand uh, is don't kiss or touch or sex uh, before marriage so. mm-hmm. okay I agree with her respond right if the child is at 10 years old let's say my kid right is like 16 where you are going to the next phase of life you are going mm. JC you are going poly right I'll tell, I'll tell my kid different things I'll tell my kid that you know this this is gonna happen one yeah. They say what well, like now the generation changed uh. I tell you my dead time also happened one at this this age, hundred percent one. But this this thing is gonna happen and then I But if not... you do that then you're expediting the process. Uh. I will Because if you say it's gonna happen, probably you're you thinking okay, maybe, uh, maybe I won't say that like, it's gonna happen, but then like let's say I mean like at this age where you you, you guys are like going clubbing, you guys are hope, like you know You just say sixteen though. Okay, maybe not sixteen. Okay, okay maybe I don't know, uh, sixteen but I I I would I would think like sixteen, seventeen when you guys you, you know more stuff. I'll tell them different things. I'm guessing what you're trying to say is the same idea but different level of like. Cause I I feel like she dumb it down. I I guess. To, I feel like for her tennis. right, she she's trying to cover like all the areas. Like mm. uh, if let's say it's natural for your penis to stand, mm. you know uh, if, if you kiss, it might lead to something else. Like mm. you know, she kind of like touch everything to let uh to. To give uh, the son like a foresight la, in a sense. But I'm not sure so Tara, right, would it be good for a 10 year old boy or not? Mm. I would teach my child, right, that you doesn't have to save for marriage. But you have to have sex. You teach your child that. La. Yeah. I, you just have to have sex with someone that you love. Okay. I, I wouldn't go that far la, like to teach my kids that. But I get what you mean earlier when, when you said, you know, if your child is older. I think what you're trying to say is, she is slanting a bit towards try not to do this. Yeah. But you will let it be and let them know that this is natural. Abstinence like. should never be the way with it. Mm. Like, I feel that. Like, it's not about control. It's about if this happens, what you should do. What is the ethical way to do it? What is the... Uh, when they are old. Yeah, when, when they are older. Old. So mm. I, don't think, I think her approach is good. I think mm. her approach is good. Because I think the slight slant towards try not to do this until you are married and stuff, I think it's good, especially because the kid is young. Mm. You don't want to put ideas in his head that it is happening and it's normal and oh, stuff. Then you will tell you that it will happen one. No la, la, I already say it. Yeah, I order, yeah, yeah. I order. But this is a good response. La. Okay. The only part I found that I wouldn't say is when she equated it to uh, junk food. Oh, yes. How junk food may not be good for the body. Mm. And the reason is because we deal with kids, right? Mm. So we know that there is a certain language you use with kids. Mm. You must speak their language. And when you speak their language, you get your message across well. The idea about junk food, while it is good, it is not speaking their language at all. Mm. In fact, it is going against what they believe to be good. Because mm. you can tell the kid, hey, don't eat your uh, chips or cookies and stuff. They will still feel like, 
I've been eating this and like, you know, you tell me it's bad but it's still okay. Uh, so you don't want to equate something that, that they find is fine. Mm-hmm. Mm. If let's say, right, your kids is like um, 16 years old, okay, and then you happen to find out they just had it, what is what, what, what will y'all do? Okay, my first question is guy or girl? Yes, 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 <laughs> yes. <laughs> Wow, okay, you. go. Oh. I, I tell you guys, uh, guys, I, 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 I kind of know really, your answers already. I really cannot uh, imagine uh, if I know that my okay. baby daughter knows. Go. Okay. What will y'all do? Okay. Right now, uh, I would say that uh, my first thought uh, is to shave a head. I don't know why. <laughs> <laughs> you know what's funny? My friend, Kana, she's a Muslim a girl. Her parents found that she's been doing stuff outside. She shaved her head, Buddha. What's the rationale? Okay, okay, okay. okay, 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 okay. I mean, like, it's just like a rich, angry. But the thing is, I know, right, I will be, like, to be realistic, I'll, I'll be okay. But will you shave the head, Buddha? No, no, I mean, like, right, I just thinking, like, like oh, what the fuck is that your first thought? <laughs> <laughs> like, angry, or I'll be angry, or, but I hope that at that age, right, she she know what she's doing, or right? I will not stop her, like, since, like, the damage has already been done. Wow, that's the thing, is damage is done. I hopefully, she'll yeah. come talk to me, right? <laughs> Before the damage is done. <laughs> but, uh, but she remember the dad say that it will come Yeah, to that's why right. you just gonna say it's yeah, normal. Like. If it's a son. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'll say it's normal, I'll say it's normal, I'll say it's normal, but... Because mm. it's a difficult position that you're it's in. A very good, it's a very okay. difficult position. Okay, what about son? Wow, son is... Mommy! <laughs> 